Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a MSI laptop. This is a MSI laptop which is called Patana GF6611UT or the exact model will be MS-1582. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace or upgrade the RAM for your laptop. If yours comes with an 8 gig or it comes with a 16 gig and you just want to pump it up, you can clearly do it and with no problem. And in this video, I'm going to go show you and demonstrate how to do that upgrade. Just remember by upgrading the RAM, you're not going to change anything in the system. And we have upgraded this laptop up to 32 gig with no problem at all. So you can put a 16 and 16 gig with no issues. All right, so let's get into it. I made a really short video so you can check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. I'll leave the link in the video description in case you want to find yours. All right. Tool that I'll be using, tool number one is an iFixit screwdriver set. I recommend these ones as they have one of the best bits out there and these are made of S2 class steel bit. We're gonna use a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, on the bottom of the laptop, we're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to remove them. Most of the screws, they're all the same size and height, except the one right by the heatsink. This is a little bit shorter screw. So remove this one and put it to one side. And now we're going to start from one corner and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we remove all the screws, what you wanna do, just double check, make sure you haven't missed any. Uh, if you have a warranty label right in here, you want to punch through that label and get the screw out. What do you want to do? You want to open it up in 45 degree angle like this. And now you see it's already. Once you have it in 45 degree angle, you want to stick the opening tool in between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that. Okay. Uh, you want to twist it, put your finger there and keep twisting it every few millimeters until you hear that clicking sound. You want to do that all around on the sides, by the USB port, left and right. And what I usually do, I just wiggle it around like this and it will release itself and bring it back towards the heat sink, you scoop it backward and you can release the rest. So pretty much wiggling around. It is heavy because they put this metal plate in here to compensate for the missing hard drive that they have in here. So you can lift up this rubber thing and place a hard drive, but if not, to counter uh, weight for here, otherwise it's gonna flip over the screen. So that's the reason they have the plate in there. All right, once you open it up, let me rotate this. You wanna see the battery and the RAMs are right away here. There's one RAM in here and there's a second RAM right underneath that one. To remove the RAMs, you don't need to disconnect the battery. It's not important at all to disconnect this. As long as you powered off completely the laptop, not on standby or anything like that, powered it off. You don't need to remove the battery to do this, anything like that. But if you want to be paranoid, you can pull this jack backward. It's straight backward. It's kind of like that, uh, you can disconnect the battery. But I do not recommend you guys to disconnect the battery. You just leave it there, you don't need to. To remove the, all right, I'm gonna remove this field on top so you guys can see it better. To remove the RAM, all you wanna do, you wanna put your fingers on the side of the trigger right here, and you wanna pull them away, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. All you wanna do, you wanna slide it backward on the same direction. 
So there you have it. There's an 8 gig right here. Second one is right under this one. Same thing. Pull the triggers and pull it out in 45 degree angle. Now, once you get the new RAM, let's say you get a 16 gig RAM stick, you want to make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. So if you want to put it that way around, it simply won't go through. So you want to make sure the notches match. You want to bring down in 45 degree all the way inside the jack. And then you want to push it towards the motherboard. And this triggers open and close automatically. Same thing on the new RAM. Bring it down in 45 degree towards the motherboard. And that's it. Now you can put this shield on top. The reason that they have this shield on top is because sometimes the triggers open randomly with the, hitting the laptop or something and the RAM can pop out and it can touch the bottom casing and this is conductive paint on top so it can prevent short so they have these covers on top of here. All right, now let's say that you have the RAM in there and you have this not disconnected battery. If you did, plug it back in. Grab the bottom cover, you want to scoop from the back side first towards yourself, bring it down and you want to push down the corners, you want to hear those nice click sounds on the side. If you see anything opening like this, all you want to do is pinch them together and it's going to go to its place. There we have it. So last thing down here would be to just put the tiny screw by the heat sink right there and you screw up the rest of the screws on the wherever you find the screw hole. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws. Also remember when you power on, it might take five to 10 seconds for it to do a main check. It's called a RAM check. So don't be paranoid. So leave it uh, turned on for five to 15 seconds max, and you should get a screen. If you don't get anything after 15 seconds, you wanna power off, switch the places for the RAM, and try it again.